morning and welcome to this week's race diary. Uh, we're for round four of the BSMA Championships at Roxton, uh, one of my favourite tracks. Um, but this week's race diary, I'm actually doing these first little bits of reports, uh, recap on Saturday, on Sunday. Um, came here and I've got to admit, I haven't been feeling I love motocross but I'm not in love with motocross and what I probably mean with that at the moment I'm not with my business at home and uh, work and everything I seem to be motocross is a bit of an inconvenience at the minute it seems a lot of hassle and I don't seem to be getting the enjoyment I should be getting from from the amount of time and money I'm putting in I'm not getting time I did try at the beginning of the year to try and do a bit of extra practicing to because I'm not on one of these riders that does need the bike time uh, for work, I've, I've got so much pressure with work and a lot. I haven't been feeling it. It's reflected on my race in the last couple of rounds. I think maybe the 250F as well. I've been on that for two years and uh, I just I don't think I gel with it. So a lot of soul searching going on uh, coming here this weekend. That this could possibly be my last season. Uh, anyway, race one yesterday and I literally did just go through the motions, didn't get out of the gate. Uh, cruise round really I, I, I went out in qualifying in the morning uh, and I even just toppled over in a corner and my confidence has gone to be fair more than anything and I think that's because I just don't feel my heart's not in it at the moment so uh, anyway going back to race one the downhill the tabletop downhill for the last couple of years every national we've been here I've been jumping down that without a stick care in the world or even thinking about it and the uphill triple I've gone for the uphill triple even with the 250F not alone, let alone just a bump when I was on the 450s just a double single and not not even jumping down the tabletop it's downhill um, Brian Grimes and uh, Robbie Harry who I'm normally battling with they were way gone and a couple of people even said to me afterwards it looked like I was just going through the motions anyway but one thing I would miss if I did give it up uh, is definitely the banter with the guys. I mean, I've got some great friends at the motocross and we always have a good laugh down in the holding area. And, and I spoke to Robbie Howard as well at the end of Saturday and that kind of like uh, hit me up a bit. But anyway, I went out for race two. Um, thought I'd give it a bit of a go. Um, and for a little bit actually, and I did enjoy it a little bit more. I, I, I did start to enjoy it. I think if we'd had a third race Saturday, it would have been interesting to see. Obviously we've got two races now, we're going into Sunday. Um, and I do need to make this decision, so I am going to go for it a little bit today, or, or, or see how I feel. Um, and uh, But I think at the end of this year, we're definitely going to be making... I couldn't walk away from motocross, I'd still be doing filming with the 7X Media. I've got some... Uh, I, good ideas for some documentaries I'd like to do more next year and obviously I'd, I'd have to be involved in a, a form of motorsport as a competitor so I have looked I am looking at four wheels um, I've booked a couple of test days towards the end of the year but at the minute uh, as a motocross rider I think that because of the chances of being injured with work and also because I mean a lot of you do know me I'm, I, I sing in a band and uh, I've been working on a new project and uh, it looks like we're going to have uh, some record company interest with that so I mean that might even change things around a lot. Um, so anyway we're on for day two, um, glorious weather conditions and it is my favourite track so I couldn't ask for better anyway so I certainly at the end of this, this today I'm going to be uh, a little bit more uh, sure of what, what's going on in my head. Well, well just done race three here on the Sunday. Uh, as I probably said at the earlier part of this race diary, I wasn't really feeling it coming here. Um, gave myself a bit of a positive talking to uh, before I went out for that race and I had a good night's sleep. I've been working days and nights shifts uh, this week with my own business so I was knackered really on the Saturday to get the best of sleep. But anyway, went down there, positive and I think it shows, I, 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 although Robbie stalled it and whatever, Brian and Robbie, who were just way ahead of me yesterday, uh, I kept the bay and, and kept the gap consistent. Uh, I even nearly cleared the triple jump uh, unintentionally. Um, I was doing the double quite easily, and then I, I just over jumped that slightly, landed in the face of the third jump. Um, 
still not doing the downhill double but everywhere everything else and clearing really comfortable apart from i think that it was a double <coughs> i come up behind brian at the double jump and um i didn't want to jump up in the inside of him because, because in case he um cut across me uh, anyway so i went to follow him uh, through it and uh, he didn't have enough speed to clear it so i had to hit the anchors and i landed uh, short on it as well uh, but I got him a couple of corners later, he made a bit of a bobble on one of the ruts. But I did, I really enjoyed that race. Um, I kind of felt a little bit my mojo was back, so I don't know, maybe I might even go practicing in the week. Uh, kind of enjoyed it a bit more then again, so I've obviously been beating myself up a bit too much mentally over it. Uh, and, I, and that's the trouble with motocross, it is just as much a mental game as it is a physical game, and if your mind's not in it, um, it can be, it's a hard sport and you know, if you're riding nationals or even though we're in the vets and I'm towards the back they're big tracks and big jumps but, um, so I'm looking forward to the next one really the next got one more race uh, I will go practicing after this meeting uh, and then I'm going on holiday for a bit of a break so that'll probably give me a bit of a rest and regroup my thoughts uh, and see how it goes but say one more to go well, we just finished our fourth race here at Roxton for the BSMA uh, Nationals. Uh, and I've got to admit, as I said at the beginning of this video, I wasn't, I hadn't been feeling it um, coming here. Just rode round yesterday, I mean, well below par, even for me. Um, Sherwood, a couple of weeks ago, the Acerbis, I'd, I'd got a bad stomach and uh, I was feeling below par. I hadn't felt like uh, practicing or, or riding or anything for the last two weeks, and I literally just came here. And I don't know when it, when it gets into your mind or something. You, you I don't know because as, as I said earlier, it's a bit of a mental game. I, I was I felt as if I was almost ready to walk away from the sport. I, I just wasn't wasn't kind of feeling how I, how I, how I should feel to come out onto a track and race. Um, but anyway, I gave myself a bit of a talking to. I thought, well, I'm going to be here for the rest of the season anyway. And I don't know what it is, it kind of just clicked. I felt better in the third race, which is the first race on Sunday. I really enjoyed it. Uh, went out again, and Robert, Robbie Howard, that's what it's all about. I thoroughly enjoyed it. We had a great battle. There was a, some proper uh, bar banging. Uh, and that's probably what the sport is about. I'm never going to win a, a race again at my age in the vets. Um, so it's all about getting the ma maximum, it's about pushing and challenging myself and then getting into the odd little scrap and battle and, and I really really enjoyed it and uh, as, as the footage shows it on the fourth race uh, got an okay start, uh, I think I was ahead of Robbie for a bit then he got past me, uh, we must have swapped places god knows how many times uh, even at the finish as well we made a last just uh, two corners from the finish as we went into the bowl turn after the triple jump I tried to go around the outside of him and he was, well, he was already in that line but I knew I couldn't make the pass stick if I went on the inside because there was a big gnarly rut there so uh, we were literally yeah we had to keep the momentum going so that I didn't fall on top of him um, my, my weak point this week, I don't know why, but it's because of 250. I've sitting on the 250F I've written here before. I've cleared that Daniel tabletop. I think it was my confidence isn't 100% there at the minute. We're going to Hawkston Park for the next round. Robbie will have closed the gap down. I'm fifth in the championship. Uh, Robbie will have closed that gap down now. I will have to do some serious sun practicing now because Hawkston Park isn't a favourite track of mine. Uh, if you've been following my race diaries you'll have seen from before so I am going to step it up and, and thanks to Robbie I would probably be considering riding for another two years because obviously I'll buy another bike and I'll run two years out of it um, I really I thoroughly enjoyed it and uh, I kind of feel I can get my mojo back but the 250F just doesn't suit me can't get out of the gate. Anybody who's been following my race diaries for the last two years, my start starts to shit. When I was on a 450, I could gate so well, and then I'd work my way backwards, and I was I was happy with that. The hard work was done. At the minute, I'm getting out of the gate last, and it's just like I'm, I'm a lazy rider. I'm 53 years of age. I don't want to be wringing the life out of a bike. So anyway, been a good weekend, and I'm feeling good, and I'm looking forward to the next rounds and this service as well. So. 
Thanks to Robbie, we had some good battles. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good again.